Let's move on now to a low tackle where the guy is trying to grab you, low to the legs. Most of the people in the street will end up 90% of the time on the ground if they get into grappling and wrestling, meaning getting into one of those and I push you and you push me, will end up on the ground. People that are better fighters like street fighters, what I call the punks that really like to take advantage of you, they will fake up and shoot down. Once they put you down on the ground, there's not much you can do. You and your back, you can try your best to strike, you can try to elbow, but if they're aggressors and they're very strong, they get on top of you, one or two good punches, you could have lights out. You don't want that to happen. So here it is. You watch the whole person, not just his eyes. They could be beautiful and blue and you get faked out. You watch the whole body by watching the person and the throat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When I watch the person and the eyes, I probably see up to here of him. When I watch him in the throat, I see the top of his head and I see him all the way to the bottom. So my focus is on his throat, but if he moves any one of his legs, hey, I can see it. Anything he does, and my hands are here, I can see it. So I can reach, I can see, but I don't look him in the eyes. Also some people does not like, or they don't like, I should say in correct English, they don't like the challenge. Once you look him in the eyes, you created a challenge. So I look him in the throat and play very humble. As soon as he starts dumping or shooting to my legs, I move back. Even if I leave one leg for him, I put one hand in the crown of his head and the other one like I throw a bowling ball, I reach for his face and slap him right up and twist his face around. That will stop his body from moving any more forward or grabbing. Even if he grabbed my leg, I got his head. I'll give him a leg for his head. At this point in here, I caused a major trauma to his neck. I'm going to turn him around. I can elbow him. I can knee him. I can take the air and the vision away and drop him. Stay in the top of his head and talk him in staying down. If he decides not to and he's still aggressive, here's when I kick him and put him to sleep. Here's where I hit the body.